Okay, so what we've done, we've, we've gone through our Analyze tab and we've worked out that people are getting through to Facebook and it looks like they're getting through on port 443. Now that's interesting because if you have a look in this tab here, it's not using secure socket slash, it's not using SSL, but it is going through at port 443. So how do we block that? Well, we're going to go back to our Manage tab up here to do that. And we're going to go through and we're going to have a look at our URL categories. So we come down through the categories and we'll see under, whoops, in this case, Society and Lifestyle is the category, as soon as I can find it. No, I've lost it altogether. There it is, Society and Lifestyle, Social Networking. So that's, that's where we want to edit. So we're going to go to that category, edit the tab, we'll go to the Edit tab, edit the category, come down here, Society and Lifestyle, Okay, social networking. Okay, now because we're blocking a URL, we can we can just do that quite easily. So we'll just put that in www.facebook.com. And okay, you'd think that would be all you have to do, but it's not really because facebook.com is already blocked and people are still getting through. So what we can do is use this here, the keywords component and what that does it analyzes the URL string for these particular keywords so what we can do is look for um, uh, facebook.com and look for 443 so even though it's not SSL we can actually look to to block that port so uh, if we save that anything that's got that key, that string in it will be blocked Okay, so again, it's the same thing that we need to do. We need to activate those changes. Everything looks pretty good. So now when we go back to our Analyze tab, we see what's going on. Chug a chug. Okay, we're going to go for the same thing. We're looking for applications. We're looking for social networking. We're looking for Facebook. I hope I put the right port in that. Anyway, we'll use the last 15 minutes. And now you'll see Facebook.com 443 is blocked. All right, so it's now hammered. So that's that. Basically, that's how you use the categories. Now that's not all there is to it, because there is a HTTPS version of Facebook.com, and we need to make sure that we block that as well. So what we're going to do is to go back here to uh, manage. And there's another category that we can we can manage, and the rule that we just put in, we could have actually put in this space, and it would have made probably more sense to put it in this space, is under the user defined section, and I'll come down here, you can't see that, oops. Under user defined, there's a thing here called the global URL blacklist, and I've already got facebook.com in there. I'm going to, I'll just drag that down there, I'm going to edit that. Alright, and I'm going to go back here to my user defined section. I'm going to go to that one. And see what I'm putting there, I've just put in Facebook.com. Okay, that's fine. But what I'm also going to put in here is as a as a string, Facebook.com con four four three. So what this does, it gets around the fact that this is actually not using SSL. Um, so that's just a bit of redundancy. Now the, the difference between what we did in the first instance and this one is that that global backlist is copied through to HTTPS as well. So if they do run a true SSL version of Facebook, it will get blocked at that point as well, if that makes sense. All right, so I hope that uh, I hope that's cleared up a few of the things and it's also uh, give you a bit of an indication that you have to be a little bit subtle with the way you apply these rules. Anyway, good luck and tell us how it goes.